The megahertz race is slowed for desktop processors, but the CPUs that power our computers are getting more powerful all the time. Hey what's up everyone, City and Technology News here, and in this video I'm going to be taking a look at the world's first 10 core desktop CPU, which is the Intel Core i7-6950X Extreme Edition. So Intel's latest processor runs at 3GHz with boost speeds up to 3.5GHz, packs in 25MB of cache, and features Intel's new Turbo Boost 3.0 technology. The only slight problem is you'll be needing to pay quite a bit for the privilege of owning Intel's new processor. To get the i7 Extreme Edition, you're going to need to pay $1,723, which is more than like the total cost of 95% of PCs available now. But an expensive processor like that is actually going to get you some amazingly fast performance. Intel claims the new processor is twice twice as fast as the quad-core i7-6700K when it comes to 3D rendering, and 35% faster than the last generation Core i7-5960X. When it comes to editing 4K video, it's 65% faster than the same quad-core chip, and 25% faster than the previous i7. When it comes to gaming, which is probably something that a lot of people might be using this for, it's actually 25% faster than the 5960X when it comes to gaming in 4K while encoding and broadcasting a 1080p Twitch stream. Basically, if you're dealing with a lot of content on a daily basis, this could be the ideal CPU for you. Now, the new Extreme Edition of i7 processors will also be available in an 8-core version and a 6-core version, and of course they're completely unlocked, so you can overclock them to your heart's content. All the new chips also support DDR4-2400 RAM, which is a slight bump in speeds from the previous generation processors. Now obviously, these chips are not for a lot of Intel customers, but for really demanding users, it does actually put Intel a step ahead of AMD, whose current high-end processor tops out at 8 cores. But with that said, let me know what you think of Intel's new processor in the comments below. Below. Let me know if you think it's going to bring about an entirely new class of desktop processing. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.